Today in this video, we're going to look at a whole new concept for this filing season, and it's called the taxpayer account. 38 million is going to be receiving this letter 6419 on the advanced child tax credit. Keeping that in mind, if you can't find as an example or the EIP payment, that mm -hmm. letter that will be coming up. If you can't find it, we're going to show you today that if you'll set up this taxpayer account, you can find that plus a 20 some other features like what was last year's AGI and you can do it real time on irs.gov. What we'd like to have an outcome mm -hmm. of this is to show you how to get from having a question, wanting to go to irs.gov, instead of going to the phone and waiting on hold and maybe getting a courtesy hangout, or maybe wait on, like for example, last year on the EIP payments, mm -hmm. the economic impact payment, we had to wait sometimes weeks to get the IRS to send out right. an additional letter. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna have William, he's a taxpayer, he actually is an enrolled agent here in the firm, but we're gonna set up his taxpayer account and show you how easy it is. Mm -hmm. So with this, again, if you've tried to get online before on the Secure Access, forget that. That's old history. This is starting as of we speak in the last couple of months. So Debbie, why don't you go on ahead and get ready to go to irs.gov there, just like any other taxpayer would. Debbie, what does William need to have? The main things that you will need is your driver's license or passport and a smartphone. Those are the best things, the easiest things to do. If you don't have those things, we can talk about a few other options, but I'm gonna show you how to set it up on a computer and with your smartphone, how it works together. Right, and I think that's the most important point is that in the old system, there was probably not even a 30% success. Mm -hmm. There was less features. And in this, <clears throat> what we have found so far, I can tell you, since we've been setting them up here for for taxpayers, I, I have yet not to have success in about 10 to 12 minutes. So so the first thing we're going to do is we want to go to irs.gov. And when we get to irs.gov, you should see the screen of how can we help. So there's a couple different ways that you can get into this, but we want to show you how to set the account up as a whole. So we're going to click on sign into your account. And when you get here, you can scroll down and it lets you know few of the features that you can do in this account. So we're going to go ahead and click and sign into our account again. And then at this point, if you already have a login, you're going to go sign in, but we don't. So we're going to click ID me, create an account. Okay, William. So we're going to get you set up. I'll type for you. <laughs> <laughs> we got his email address and then we're going to set up a password. You want to make sure that it is secure. You have to accept their terms. We're gonna create an account. This is just letting you know what it is that you're doing, what you're gonna to need to set up the account. You have to do a multi-factor, which is also why we need the phone. It's the easiest way to do a multi-factor if you have a smartphone. So we're gonna hit continue. And at this point, it's going to email him a link to confirm his email address. Once he gets the email, he's going to click on it from his smartphone and it's going to know that he's clicked on it and our screen is then going to change. I'm going to brag on the IRS a minute. This site that we're doing is great. It has worked seamless every time that I've done it. So now at this point, we have to choose what kind of multi-factor that we want. You can choose text message or phone call. You can do a push notification with an on a mobile app. You can have a code generator, you can get a security fob. If you do that, you would have to actually wait for the fob to be shipped to you. So today we're gonna go with text messaging. So we're gonna select that. We have to put in his phone number and then you wanna choose text me and then continue. So now it has texted him. What is the code? 538-036. This code is gonna be different every single time. You can tell it that you want to download recovery codes. We're gonna go through that right now. So if you had lost your phone. So at this point, we have to verify his identity to make sure it's really him. This is the part where we're gonna need the ID and it's also going to scan his face. So you could do this setup all through your smartphone. You don't have to have a computer. I'm using a computer today for ease of use so you can see what the screens look like. Also, if you don't have the smartphone capability, you can do it all on your computer if you're able to upload your ID and or your computer has a webcam to be able to see you. So you can do it two different ways. So we are going to upload his license by clicking start now. It's telling you what it's doing. You have to acknowledge and accept. So at this point, 
we're going to tell it that we want to take a photo. So when this happens, it's going to send a link to his cell phone. He has to tell it that yes, he controls the email address and then now it's going to walk him through how to take the photo. Once you get your ID uploaded, then on your phone, go ahead and hit continue. It's gonna check the ID real quick. Once that's done, then you continue on your phone. Now at this point, it says prepare yourself for a selfie. That's what it's telling him on his phone. Um, <laughs> so it's not actually, you know, to make sure that you're in selfie mode. It's gonna scan his face. So he just has to make sure and hold it up. It's gonna tell him on your phone, it shows red. You've got to move it around until, yeah, it's telling him to move closer. And then it turns green and it will count three, two, one and scan the face. What it's doing is making sure that his face matches that ID. Take your glasses off. Can't see me. <laughs> okay, it got it. It is verifying his selfie. Now you can see uh, back on this computer screen that it's comparing the selfie to the ID. So it's still saying that it's processing. So you can kind of watch your phone and your computer at the same time. Now we have to put in his um, date of birth and social. So I'm gonna have you write your social down. Hit continue. It brings up his information. We verify that it is correct. You say yes. Now at this point, it's telling you that everything you just gave to ID.me is now gonna be sent back to the IRS. So ID.me is not owned by the IRS. It's just something that verifies your information. It's used by companies around the globe. So we're gonna allow. And now we are rolling. We are into um, the taxpayer account. Thank you very much. Now you have a taxpayer account set up. <laughs> you know, Debbie, as I watch this, I think like we do in most of our videos, we, we do some takeaways and recaps. So I, I made some notes here. Actually in timing this, it only took six or seven minutes, mm -hmm. even including trying to get that photo done. So literally we're talking now because we've done a few of these seven, eight minutes right. and I'm into that, uh, to the access. You use the word multi factor authentication. Mm -hmm. And really for those that don't know what that is, that means that you're working on your computer and you're sending out this information to IDME and IDME then through a second avenue. In this mm -hmm. case, it was William's phone send him a message. Right, so with that multi-factor, that really puts another level of security on this because right. you can't just have the login and password, you have to have that second <laughs> device, whether it's a key fob that you have mm -hmm. that has a number on it, or you use your phone number, um, or you download an app. So it really puts an extra level of security. Right, and then to follow up on that security, is I also think when you mentioned that IDME is a third party, it's a third party mm -hmm. vendor, but realize, and this was one of my questions when I was first looking at the taxpayer account, the tax pro account mm -hmm. through this system. And IDME, all they have is that they just have the facial recognition. They validated through your driver's license. Right. So there is no IRS information in IDME. Correct. It, it just strictly, it's, it's a, it's like on the face of your phone. You have to have a password on your phone to get to your apps. Right. So IDME is a password on your phone. And then once you go in there, you're not in IDME. That was just the key to get into the your your account. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important. And also IDME use military. Uh, 27 states currently use it. And then I was teaching a class the other day and there was a gentleman came to me and said, well, I'm I'm a vet and I went to buy, buy some boots online and I wanted the military discount. So he clicked military discount and his ID me account popped up to validate that he was who he said he was. So this is also starting to take inroads into, uh, in, into retail. And why this is important is that if you've already been through ID me, so now let's say William goes out to get a discount you know, they're gonna have it, let's state of Missouri, the resident he's in, mm -hmm. they already use ID me. Mm -hmm. So when he goes to the state of Missouri now, he's already got a key to get in there to see what the state of Missouri has online for him. And I think this is the utilities that we're looking at. Probably to wrap this, what we're gonna do right after this is we're gonna do a video on what are the benefits, what's in it for me, the taxpayer, right. on the taxpayer account. And they currently, as we speak, have, I believe, what they call 23 transactions. What does that mean to you and I, the lay people? That's 
your it, they've got the schedule of your advanced child tax credit out there they've got ip they, they got the uh eip out there what i'd like to say is stay tuned for that video because we're actually going to go through the tax payer account online because some people want to know how to get the, the to get to it but then once you're in it this next video is going to be what's in it for me stay tuned subscribe and we'll see you over in the next video Debbie. <laughs> have a great day and hope this helps